last time on Dog Naropa, Trigger Happy Havoc. A trick? What kind of, what kind of trick? Actually, I'm not sure, Mon, but... Huh? Freaking bastards! Marakuma? Huh? Huh? How? You have to be dead! <laughs> me dead? Don't be freaking stupid! <laughs> hey, you're kind of strange! Something seems different! Of course! But it's not different! If it was perfectly natural! After all, I've been hibernating for two years already! Uh... Not even! It's been like half a day at most, Mon! How are you alive again? <laughs> oh yeah, th that's it. Poo -hoo -hoo. Look on your faces are right now sublime. That's why I wanted to use it. That's why I wanted to see the moment you went from hope to despair. And now back to trying to ditch school. If you just do it, it turns out okay. And ugh, feel weird. Ugh, feel tired all of a sudden. Ugh, weird. But anyways, it is Vendilia 1998 here again with some more Dagnaropa Trigger Happy Havoc. Last time we found out that we were stars of a TV show. The whole world's gonna see. Up there's the unedited, up there's the unedited footage of the TV show. And the monitors. I, I, I don't know the. I don't. I wonder if Monokuma picks which files to shove the TV viewers or maybe the producers the show do. I don't know. But anyways. Let's get on the story with checking the Monokuma file. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They, they, were, they were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife which went completely through the body. He's also been struck in the head with an object about, the, about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. Hmm, so even the victim, even the Monokuma file doesn't tell us who the victim actually was. Again, the, un the unidentified body. Could it really be Kyoko? This one burnt corpse. Or I had no choice. I had to investigate and tell the truth for myself. No matter what, I have to find out what happened, or we're all dead. And you get back to seeing the crime. Back to the garden. Add the truth bullets. And we're back to the garden again. Okay, time they start. I need to check anywhere that may be important from one end to the other. I can do what I always do. Yeah. So who's that light belong to? Whatever it is, I'm not gonna look. I don't wanna look. I don't wanna fade anymore. I don't wanna fade anymore. Listen, Makoto. Remember about how I looked at you before I blew up? I remember right. What kind of mask? And big white coat. I was not sticking out of the stomach, and the starting an area around it was stained with blood. Apparently, the wound had stopped bleeding, but the blood on the body was still wet. 
Yucky has enough to touch it to avoid getting all bloody. With how much blood there was on the body, I don't see any on the ground around it. Okay. <laughs> no, no, thanks. Now you, now you, that's a big help. <coughs> now you, wait, did I tell you remember how it looked? Well, having to talk about like that helped me remember a lot better too. Well, thank you, thank you too. It's o'clock right now, Mon. Okay, and serious. Well, I was thinking about how we found the body when the body was found, huh? I think like the twenty. I don't remember what that was. Well, for seven o'clock, as usual, hit the dining hall precinct. Met Hina around seven thirty. Had the gym. Everyone else was waiting. Took the pickaxe out. We found the body. And was it then? Hmm. Now Toko, what? Now Toko, what time is it? But when we went to gym, it was like just for nine o'clock, so it's probably like nine on the dot now. Around nine o'clock. You know? I mentioned I, th I think you're right, Mon. Hmm. So I think we could say the first spy was found around nine a.m. Okay, my job done. That was a pretty small job. Hmm. Good timing, Makoto. I wanted to talk to you. You want to talk about? So, in other words, oh, I'd like to hear your alibi. Alibi? In other words, correct. I'd like to hear where you were after nighttime began last night. But again, correct. I'd like to hear where you're. I'd like to hear where you were after nighttime began last night. Um. Well, I was sick, so I sleep all night. What are you asking about now? And what's the time we gotta do with it? Naturally. Isn't it obvious? This murder took place after night time. I can know that for sure. Hmm. <coughs> because... <coughs> because... Uh, because... Just after night time began, I came to the garden. <coughs> Got... Drink some water, because coughing... <coughs> uh. I was going around looking for everyone so I could tell them about Monokuma. <laughs> Hiro's been spending his, most of his time in the garden the last few days, so I figured he'd be here. And I can confirm when I arrived last night, there was no body here. In other words, <laughs> so the murder can only have taken place at some point during the night time after I left the garden. However, Toko, Hiro, Hina, and I were in the gym together the entire night last night. What? Hmm. Once I found Hiro in the garden, we immediately went to Toko and Hina's rooms to get them. At that point, we all went to the gym and began dismantling Monokuma. As a precaution, we made sure not to go anywhere alone. We even went to the bathroom in pairs. In other words, all four of us have airtight alibis. The only one that who don't have alibis are me and Kyoko. That's right. And the victim really is Kyoko. I'm the only one without an alibi. Hmm. Also, when we went to get Hina and Toko, we stopped by your room as well. What? But you never came to the door. So where precisely were you? I'm telling the truth. I was in my room, but I was dead asleep. I had a fever, so... That's hardly an alibi. I know. So what now? You seem to be quite disadvantaged here. I'm the only one without an alibi. That's really bad, isn't it? Like it's accountant to add the troop bolt to your section. Check the body more thoroughly. Maybe I'll find out if it's Kyoko or not. Huh? Maybe we have to buy his fingernails. 
Oh, these are thick nails. They're really long. It's not to get in the way of normal activity. You also need to choose bullets. Oh, there's something in the back of her, her right hand. This is a tattoo? It got burned so I can make it up the whole thing, but... Like a picture of a dog or, or something. I've never seen anything like it before. You have half the body got set on fire and it's totally blackened. But the top half of the body is wet. Because it got set on fire and I threw water on it. I threw water on the fire, it was fire, top half, the bottom half is still dry. In other words, there's nothing strange about the top half being wet. There isn't, right? Little body analysis. I didn't get wet at all. The body blew up to the fire. I don't know. Half isn't wet. About that, right? Let's just see. Okay, let's see. 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 The white jacket the victim was wearing it totally got burned up. One piece, one little piece left. Yes. Let's lay on the let's lay on the ground. Is this the knife that was stuck in the body before it exploded? The force of the explosion must have thrown it over here. Monocumulant files to the knife went all the way to the body from front to back. <coughs> and then the knife was, was caused fatal, fatal injury? Give away this knife. Looks really familiar. Wait, is this. That's it! It's knife that person was holding. This is getting really weird. There's too many strange coincidences. Whoever that person in the mask was that attacked me last night, they were holding on that knife. That's the same knife that was used to stab the same mask attack we found here. Maybe this mask person's got stabbed because when they attacked, I was in a kind of a trance. Maybe I reacted by grabbing the knife. Maybe then I I as this really is Kyoko. It would mean Kyoko's the one that attacked me? But why the mask? I just don't know. I don't remember anything clearly from last night. No, no, it can't be. There's no way. Get the tool shed. It does seem different. In other words, it's a very typical tool shed. Is this a tarp? Wait, was, a, was there a tarp in here before? Why look at it? It's the case. The top is wet and covered with mud and grime. The other side is fully clean and completely dry. One side of the, that tarp is wet and dirty. Something about that bothers me. So one thing in here that concerns me. Kind of like controls the sprinklers. I shut the turn off at 7.30 every morning and my comments and time possibly could not be changed. Uh, hold on. Sprinklers turn on at 7.30 each morning, right? And the body was here before then, the sprinkler, sprinklers, sh the sprinklers should have gotten it wet. I mean, the murder must have taken place. I'm 
Six chickens in the chicken coop. Count four chickens. Huh, four? Yo. What's going on, Makotamon? Well, I'm glad you're here. Listen, you remember how many chickens were in, in here? Hmm. Of, of course, Mon, there are pre precisely five. Yeah, right. Huh? Well, what's wrong? There are only four chickens in here now, we're one short. That's so weird, I wonder when this appeared. I was down here right before nighttime, Mon, last night, and there's definitely five chickens then, Mon. What? What are you gonna do, Mon? Going from five to four is gonna have an impact on the structure of the world? Conspiracy. Like a jigsaw puzzle, Mon. If, if even a single piece disappears, the entire world will remain unfinished. I did my best to ignore Hero and focus on the problem at hand. What is it when chickens disappear? Can you relate to the case? Chicken coop, chicken coop chickens have been added to the truth bullets of your handbook. I like fragments of something. They're all burnt, my, I can't, so I can't really be sure, but... I like I've seen something like it before. But where? Wait, was it there? <coughs> I'll double check that later. I just need to check this area. I'm done yet. There's areas I need to check. Specifically that fragment I found before. There's somewhere I need to go in order to confirm my suspicion. I need to find out more about Kyoko. That corpse is really Kyoko, if that's true. It's also Kyoko that attacked me last night. <coughs> if I can find out more about her, maybe I can answer that question. <coughs> Kyoko was never that kind of person to talk about her that much. If I can get in her room, I'll be able to find out more. I can get in her room. It's all clear now. I will simply limit your options. I can't allow you to engage in any further specific activity. What? I know my, my options. Just give up. Give me the key to your room. No choice. I have to see, have to see if he'll let me borrow her key, room key. Hey, I'm um, Yakia. If you do come with an alibi, I'll be happy to hear about it later at the class trial. Oh no, it's not about that. You have to keep the Kyoko's room, right? I was hoping I could borrow it. I'm afraid I can take that risk. You are the prime suspect after all. What? Of course, if I were to go with you, that would be a different story. Then will you go with me? Hmm. Sorry, I have my own agenda to take care of. Find me later, again later and we'll see. Goodbye. In my mood, I may go with you, or I may not. Come back, come back later, huh? Time to look around somewhere else. I got that one area. One area. God, I thought I knew that area was. I have that thought in my head. here too? No. Play. I can do
think so, but I'm gonna check it. It's like normal. Just like Kentucky. yet. Possible, I'm sure. world but we must create our stop. Okay, in this case, it's a white tarp. Yeah. Oh, yes. This is a hard one. Okay, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Blocker, you can hear anything about. Hmm. God, my brains are dead end right now. I think I. I if, wait a minute. I wonder if the bathroom area. I think it's a story. Right. And now, too much. Ah, damn it. No, nope, because I was wrong about that. Mm-hmm. 
here. Oh god, I can't remember. God. This is gonna be this is, god damn it, this is a hard one. But I won't forget when to be here. You know? What is it? It's huh? what is it? Hmm. Ah, a bomb. What? What? That was one missing. I thought about it. What I found in the garden. Aha! Check everything else. Check out what's left is Yoko's room, the garden, and that's I'll check every. Uh, I checked every area. Give me the key now. <laughs> no. Yeah, I already know that. Thanks, loser. You can go soon, Biakia. Let's go. You can check out Kelko's room, right? Very well, let's get going. Oh, wait for me! He will have a second glance, and I prefer after him to always with dorms. Da 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 da. Well then, here we go. You can slip in the keyhole and then click. And it's open. I like it, thanks. So this is Kyoko's room. And the table. So wood block decoration. What? What's that? What purpose does it serve? I think it's probably a key. Blockers are those really traditional public bathhouses used them for the lockers. Hmm. I wouldn't know. I've never gone to a public bathhouse. It doesn't really surprise me. It's hard to picture Byakuya doing something like that. It's certainly possible. But if it is a key, I think I might know what it unlocks. Really? What? Hmm. I'm mistaken. I'm pretty sure I saw something in, the, in that dojo that might, this might go to. The dojo? Triple to a section. I think it's on. It's on it. No, that no matter what. What? Watching Kyoko in the bedroom. Your bed. I don't think you see right here. Not in case, case it's turned. Uh, here's the bathroom. She might have. She might have a certain article. Uh, article hanging out to dry. I'm not. Look, I'm not looking inside. What? You come here, right? So what are you looking for? I think guys thought we might find some kind of clue here. Who might help us find, understand Kyoko? Come on. You can't be serious. That's why you made me take the time to, to, to come here. Sorry. Regardless, regardless, if you plan the Pokemon on, on random, at random, you're doomed no matter how many the time you take. Surely, you'll have any more concrete something to give us some more direction here. More concrete. 
Oh, I know. Earlier, Kyoko gave me something. H huh? What's this? It's true. Consi consider it a symbol of my de determination. Don't open it. Don't open it. Y yet, only open it if something ever happens to me. It's right over here somewhere. Found it. Hmm. What's it? What's in the envelope? Kyoko gave it to me. She said if something ever happened, I should open it. Hmm. Interesting. Well, so something certainly has happened, so open it. Okay. Now the envelope and look inside. So I have a single piece of paper. Under the sheets. What? That's all that was in there? Yeah, looks like it. Under the seats, what could it be? Like, could something be hidden, hidden under the bed sheets? Part of me didn't expect to find anything, but as I looked up the sheets... What's this? I found a tumble up piece of paper. Class 78, class number 78 student registry. Naruko Ikishaba. I see. It appears to be Naruko Ikishaba's profile. Yeah, it looks like it. That's probably one of the other things that Kyoko stole when she snuck into the headmaster's room along with the key. God, you're so annoying. Fine, I'll tell you. There's a key and a. That's it! That must be the blank that Makima was talking about. Kyoko said that death without meaning was unappealing. This is what she left behind. Hmm. Ah, time for your sentimental indulgence. Hurry up and finish your search. Okay. I made effort to pull myself together and look down in the profile seat. Name, name Mukuro Ikisaba. Sex female, the ultimate soldier. Although small for her age, she was a military specialist trained in every weapon type imaginable. She showed her interest in the military from childhood, and soon found herself completely absorbed by it. In three school, she won a survival game tournament and began writing for military magazines. This before entering middle school, where, while she and her family were on vacation in Europe, she, she disappeared. The story of a young Japanese girl being kidnapped quickly took over the Japanese media outlet. Intense international investigation turned up no information and she was never found. However, she appeared in Japan three years later alone and completely unannounced. She revealed that she joined a mercenary group known as Thinor those three years. She insisted that she hadn't been kidnapped and that she received bell training of her own volition. However, she never re revealed why she decided to return home when she did. The profile can add to the truth bullets. Hmm. Ultimate soldier and mercenary group? This doesn't feel right. The world I grew up in, it's, it's like a completely, like a completely different, different dimension. It's like one non-stop fiction, other is sci-fi. No way you can compare the two. How different this is. That's how I, I saw things with such an ordinary person, but then... I see. Hmm. I never imagined I would hear the name Finnier in a group place like this. Huh, you recognize it? Naturally. The Finnier mercenary corpse is a collection of battle-crazed warmongers. They do have their uses and they always get the job done. That's worth remembering. It's all part of the world totally removed from the war, not world I live in. Hmm. I have to say, I'm intrigued. Every rumor I've heard says this Finnier has, has already... Found it. Whoa! Whoa! Woo! I feel like our hero's becoming the bit player and the bit player's, uh, bit player's becoming our hero! It's you. Mm, yeah, you put your handle. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, you put your handle there. Uh oh, you found a profile. So what if we did? Hey, come on now. 
Don't get on me! Don't get on me! I'm not gonna hold it against you or anything. In case you're wondering, I know how to in case you're wondering, I know how to get to Kyoko either! You know, she still didn't hit it! After all, there's their rule against stealing, is there? But who I can't forgive is Miss Ogami! Broke the rules and rushed in the headmaster's room! Maybe I'll drag her corpse out here and slice it up and devour it! Bears are armor after all! What? Our rule of violence is really so unforgivable. You're quite adamant about those regulations of yours. Mm. <laughs> of course I am! Of course I am! A proper school life is built on the dickest and ordination in the water! Mm. <laughs> this is why even the school headmaster I had to I had to follow the rules myself! Hmm, so you're saying you have to follow your own rules as well. Of course! Absolutely! I can't have you complain about how unfair it is! It all is now, can I? Hmm. In fact, on the subject of fairness, would you like me to know something interesting? Interesting? <laughs> this was the one writing all the rules. They're actually... When I put this special to killing game! I don't think I ever told you I don't think I ever actually told you how many prints actually were, do, did I? I don't think I'd probably clarify that. Hey, um You, know, you first got together in the main hall way back when. There's 15 people in there, right? I think that first being my uh, little, a little percentage among you all. What's your standing? Are you sane? In other words... That's right! They were, like, they were actually affecting you! Yes, indeed! The total number of students taking place in this killing game was actually 16! 16, then. Mukuro Ikusaba. The 16th student lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. <coughs> the 16th student. Mukuro Ikusaba? She's part of the school life? So the one that on this regular all these all these rules is me. Why? Huh? Man, did you say something? Did you say something? <laughs> why are you why are you telling us this? Hmm. Oh well because <laughs> I just told you, this game is definitely popular. You don't believe all the you don't believe all the ratings! And since we got so many viewers now, I wanna make sure everyone's on the same page! I don't wake up to a hurricane of complaints and hate mail, you know? Yes, indeed! Makes sense? Meep. Well, now. Okay, then, that's all you get for now. Looks like I do have some revenge to get, so I have extra bonus for you. Revenge? Yeah. <laughs> I'll get back at that sneaky Kim's Kirigiri. I'm gonna share a little secret with ya. Seriously? Hey, um. Now that he, now that he wears those stupid gloves every, day in, day out, all the time? We don't tell it. Well, don't I tell you? <coughs> well, don't tell you when I told you this, but <laughs> she wears her but she wears them but cover a bunch of hideous scars that she doesn't want anyone to see. What? That, that's all you get. <laughs> Just count to add to the truth bullets. She can wear those gloves cover a bunch of scars. It's the deck of her hand. That tattoo. Wait, but no. My kid was said they were scars, right? And that's why Kyoku wears those gloves to hide the scars? This means. Fake those on the corpse. Hmm. Are you thinking about. Ki are you thinking about Kyoku again? Huh? What? Forget about her. What matters right now is uncovering Monokuma's trap. His. trap? Such ignorance. God must have really hated you to make you so dull. Hmm. Do you remember what Makuma just told us? He says there are 16 students, right? Which means Mukuro was a, was a student. He said there are 16 students, right? Which means Mukuro was a student here. Mukuro was a student here. That's right. Obviously. Obviously, Makuma was trying to t tell us that Mukuro was the one creating the rules to this game. 
Why would he tell us that? And why now? He said that he, he, said that he wanted like, things clear so that we no complaints later. But the mere fact that he said that proved that McGrow was connected to this case. That's why Mark came over the assistant of a 16 student. We need to make our investigation fair. McGrow's related to the case. It's certainly possible. Perhaps he's the one who killed Kyoko. What? Hmm. That would explain why we had to have, would have that class trial now, wouldn't it? If she killed a student and she killed, and she killed, she is a student and she killed someone, that would make her part of the school killing game. Makoto's the killer. She killed Kyoko. Hmm. Anyone should be able to come to that conclusion, don't you think? In fact, that's exactly what I thought when the investigation first began. What? But based on Makoto told us, I've changed my mind. It's all clear now. Mukuro Ikusaba isn't the culprit. How much you say that? Hmm. We thought Mukuro ultimate despair was the mastermind's true identity. But that's true, Makuro's behavior makes no sense. Why would the mastermind go out of their way to reveal themselves to us? That's a good point. So in other words... Mukuro giving us information that would raise questions about her would be bold to say the least. It would make more sense to assume that Mukuro isn't the culprit. So that's a trap. They would suspect Mukuro and come to the wrong conclusion. Hmm. That's what makes sense to me. The way you say that, it definitely does seem possible, but that's really true. If Mukuro isn't the killer, then who is? Hmm. Well then, I believe our work here is finished. Let's move on. I'm sure there's other places that need investigation. I just, I just find out that Keith and Dojo are already connected. Let's go. Well, are you coming, peasant? Hmm. We have to check the locker. Looking for after all. There were no lockers here. These wood blocks. It's like Keith. It's like they, they, they use woodblock keys, just like the super traditional public bathhouses. Looks like key we found in the cookie room really is going to one of these lockers. I see. Makoto, do you see the locker first to the right? Very strange. I, I think one does have a key in, in the moment. You understand what that means, right? That's why the key we found in the locker, right? That's right. Will? Just try it. Just do it. Okay. So they're doing six and six. They match. It's got the wood block key inserted in the locker's middle lock and click. Locker eagerly opens up the key and it opened. There are arrows in here. It's like ten arrows in total. They look like they're made of titanium, which means they're quite strong despite how thin they are. Of course, while a bow, they're nothing but strong little sticks. Strong sticks. Team arrows have been added to your bullets. Oh, there's something else inside the locker. Oh, there's something else. Pff, God. Oh, there's something else inside the locker. It's a lot of a ball of duct tape. I wonder what this is used for. Is that a blood stain? I see. If, if it is, it means it, must be, it surely must be related to the case. It's like they just raided the case somehow? How could it possibly be involved? Play duct tape and add to your truth bullets. I think, a lot, I think that's all the locker had to offer for now. Something wrong? Very strange. Huh, it's very odd, don't you think? The locker was the locker was hiding objects that were clearly related to the case. But how did the key to the locker wind up in the victim's room? Why? Or perhaps... Yakia? Hmm. Forget it. Come on, we need to the next location. Huh? What's the next location? What? There's still something we need to look into. 
we need to do more research on thinner. Thinner, you mentioned that group that Mukuro is a part of? Then how are you supposed to find about that? Isn't it obvious? Where in the school would you go to do, 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 do research on something? Think, Makoto. Think. Research. I talking about the archive? That's right, the archives have all kinds of info on the, on the general public that the general public has, has access to. Let's go. I don't have so much time until the trial begins. Let's hurry. I just filed raid the Finra somewhere over here. Yakia seemed to know the arcade like the back of his hand and went straight to the shelf in the back. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Should we turn with a file on hand? I thought I was. I see. Hmm. Take a look at this. I have no idea what it says. What language is this? Hmm. How did you make the all the way to high school without learning a single word of French? Um, I'm pretty sure most high schoolers can't speak French. Okay. Well, whatever. I'll read it to you, peasant boy. But I expect you to repeat your debt a hundred times over. A hundred times? Isn't that kind of extreme? Finier is a fine unit based out of the Middle East. Unlike the military contractors, they're a fierce group of soldiers who engage in direct combat. They claim that a single member is equivalent to an entire company of regular soldiers. Just like Finier, the Wolf of Ragnarok their mere presence is enough to strike fear into any enemy. They have been involved in countless military battles and operations, which most, most of which are highly classified. However, they, some time ago, they completely ceased all activity. At present, their continued existence cannot be confirmed. There are unconfirmed reports that Key members of the group were all neutralized. Rumors indicate they were killed to keep them from revealing the many state secrets they they acquired. Some, however, believe there's a mounting internal tension within the group, and they all and they simply imploded. What? What is it? This all sounds like this, this all sounds like some kind of alternate reality, like a like a game, or an anime, or a TV show. Hmm. Well, it isn't. This is this is our reality, the only reality. These people are part of our world. Their battlefields aren't much different from our lives here. Unpredictable, unimaginable world. <laughs> That's what makes it all so exciting. Exciting definitely isn't the word I'd use. So, the only thing that jumped out at you is maybe your last opportunity to learn about Finnier. Now you mention it. Of course, this thing about where the name Finnier comes from, right? That's, r that's right. They said Finnier. Finnier is the wolf of Ragnarok. Speaking of, of wit, of. Which, would you like to know something interesting related to that? To show that they're a member of the team, each soldier that joins the squad. We get a tattoo representing Finner somewhere on their body. What? We got a tattoo of Finner? Could that mean... Profile's been updated. Time's... Time's up, suckers! Time is utterly silent, and yet it constantly assaults us. 
organisms, the earth, natural phenomena. It damages us little by little until the end. You should really think about that. Anyway, it's time to begin the class trial. So, please meet up in the usual spot. <laughs> See you later. Hmm. And the time has come. All I can do now is try to uncover the truth during the class trial. That's right. It would seem that way. Let's go. And here we are at the door again. The door to our destiny. The door to the class trial. And like always, we'll open it up next time. Hope you enjoy hope you enjoyed this episode today. Be sure to leave a comment and I'll and thumb it up too, please. And, and subscribe if you have not. Be sure to click that bell icon. And if you want to help me make better videos please check out my patreon or even 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 a little bit of help you know and my amazon list list too get me help get better equipment so make uh, make videos processing and editing much easier and faster hopefully but until then never stop learning enjoy the randomness i'll see you next time bye <laughs>